Howdy folks, welcome back to Boondockery. I am in Bluffton, Ohio, or very near Bluffton, Ohio, at the Northwest Bushcraft Gathering. And I'm here to do all kinds of bushcraft construction. I think the first thing we're going to be starting on today is the longhouse. And we have a whole list of items that we could be doing uh, throughout the weekend. But we're going to take them one step at a time and get done whatever we can. Uh, only a small group of people here so far. I got in uh, late last night and was able to uh, drive my vehicle into the woods and be able to set up my camp as most everyone that's here already has. And it's just a handful of folks right now, but we're expecting uh, more throughout the day today and even tomorrow. Hopefully with uh, more hands, it will make lighter work and we'll be able to get a lot more accomplished. I'm going to show you around my camp. While everyone's still pretty much waking up, they're gathering around a fire, getting some coffee going, I'm going to walk you around my camp. Like I said, I was able to get my vehicle in and uh, drive through the woods. I didn't even have to go into four-wheel drive once. Uh, this is just a basic uh, hammock layout. Uh, <laughs> early videos, I, I, you can tell that I've used hammock camping almost exclusively. And I, I, this matter of fact, this is the first time I've hammock camped in almost a year. I've uh, been committed to uh, trying out uh, a lot of ground camping techniques. And uh, I've really enjoyed it. However, it was so nice to be able to hang for a change. It was so comfortable. All I'm using is uh, my Kefaro uh, Doobie. It's a, it's a heavier weight uh, Woobie. Uh, the Kefaro manufactures as my underquilt, my top quilt was my Helicontex swag mat roll. Right around, let's say close to 5 o'clock, it, it was dipping a little below 50. Uh, the overnight low was supposed to be around 52. It got a little bit chilly, so I pulled that uh, swag mat roll up just a little bit more. I was able to get back to sleep. I didn't bring any long sleeve shirts other than the one I'm wearing, and it's not exactly warm. Normally I'll bring a sleep shirt or something like that that I can go ahead and throw on once. Uh, it does start getting cold because I always layer up and layer down as need to uh, for comfort. And with everything going on, I simply forgot to pack it. Uh, I think tonight is supposed to be pretty much the same as last night, so I'm pretty much expecting the same. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get me some coffee and uh, see uh, what the agenda for today is. And I'll see you here in a few. Well, we've had our coffee, we had our breakfast. Now, it's time to get things started. Now, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be constructing a longhouse. Right now, everyone's gathering together. We've located the uh, location where we're gonna be uh, building it, and we're starting to clear uh, the land of any of the deadfall, things like that. So that way we can get to it without tripping over everything. And we're going to uh, stake out the area that we're going to start the construction. Then we're going to start cutting poles for the actual construction of the framework after that. You want it between these two? Well, no, but I thought we could move it up a little. We don't, we don't do that far in. Oh, oh, all right. Watch out. You okay? That's okay. All right, hold on. Let's see. I'm going to have to move. Might, might, might need to go over towards John. Yeah, we might need to. Well, I want to go eight by 93. Yeah, you're right. We need to go this way. Oh. Okay. What? I'm like, oh, that's cool. What's that? Yeah, let's try that real quick. You don't want to, you can't really be near anybody. <laughs> this one I say about this bell hook, it's fairly yeah. short. Yeah, you won't clip anybody's shins with that. 
Hey, I guess if we need to, all this debris too, Jason, we can touch on the, we can push on the bottom. But look, all this debris. Oh, yeah. Push up against the bottom. Hey, quit throwing that where I just raked. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we need two measurements. <laughs> try to get a 90 degree. Right, try to get a 90 degree. I think the whole back end needs to walk over. This way? Yeah. We can back in a little more to get away from that pit. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, good Price. call. Price. Price. Didn't, didn't see that before. Yeah, these Mayap will make a real nice canopy to hide stuff. Like copperheads, things like that. <laughs> How do you want to go? You think right here to there? The end of the stick to this point? Okay, yeah, strap it in there. Should it be angled a little more? Alright. Take a toe off pretty quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just sharpen it up. <laughs> Okay, we got everything cleared up. Yeah. Now we're going to go out and we're going to harvest some uh, straight um, saplings. And we're looking for about that big around in diameter and about 13 feet. And the basic construction is going to consist of uh, five on each side, which is going to make the U-shape arches on it. And we'll probably need at least, hmm, I'd say six long verticals. And then we're going to need a, a couple shorter on either side. Uh, one across the top, so we're looking at about yeah, six uh, shorter ones for the end caps. Now we've got a nice little cluster right over there. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for clusters of so small saplings like that. So that way I can cherry pick what we need and still have plenty there to not affect um, the growth and the competition for growth there. If we take a, a larger one out, that's just going to afford the smaller ones the ability to uh, grow larger in its place. It's not going to cut the sticks. Is it rickety? 
Did somebody harvest that big one that I cut down over there? Well, <laughs> it's still over there. Okay. <laughs> do this and pack it then? Yeah. Well, that's what I thought we were going to do anyway. Um, or if we get if we get, if the, whole, if we get the whole started, we might be able to just ram the... Okay. <laughs> uh, I went for him to hit a root or a rock. And then we're gonna... You know what we need to do is put a hole through that. Mm -hmm. And twist it out. Do is anybody? Joe, I think Joe bought one of those. No, uh, augers. Do that. I got one. Yeah. It'll come out. We yeah. Can wiggle it around. Fantastic. Just bang it with the mallet. There you go. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. This is exactly the technique I used many, many, many years ago when I used to build wiki ups. Okay. Yeah. You done this before? Yeah. Who knew? I'm learning something new every minute. <laughs> I've been many, many things in my life. Yeah, yeah in the clay. <laughs> he, did you know he's a wiki master? Wiki, wiki. <laughs> wiki, 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 wiki. Oh, oh! Watch the sh watch that uh, bone on your ankle. <laughs> The delicate one. <laughs> the, the one you know if you feel it. It's not all that bone that on this. Oh yeah, that one. Oh my goodness. This is like the sword in the stone. <laughs> like what? Like the sword in the yeah. stone. Oh yeah. King oh. Arthur. If they can pour the stick from the ground. Bum. Maybe we should have peeled the bark to smooth so it wasn't bum. so textured. Bum bum. There you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Hold it up in the air. Yeah, there you <laughs> All right. Dave, the earth dentist. <laughs> Extraction <laughs> complete. All right. Bend them. Well, if we put a if we put a cross member oh. to keep it apart, it might work. Think you can lash it and like like it'll bend where we want it to bend rather than yeah. Get steady. Yeah. One of the things we can do, we can build a small fire nearby, and uh, do a steam. Yeah, pa a pass the end of it through the fire. Um, you know, several times you could start feeling the flexibility come up almost immediately, and that, that'll help it. But you almost got to do it instantaneously with both, so that way you can uh, tie them, lash them together, plant them both to where they form that arch. Now, in order to place the poles to make the arch or uh, the conical shape, depending on what style they want to uh, do, we need to drive holes in the soil to be able to place. Um, the, uh, the saplings that we've harvested deep in the ground so when it bends it'll hold it in place and won't pop out. So I cut a uh, about a three and a half to four foot uh, section here. I've got a cross member here about two and a half feet. I'm going to go ahead and notch this and notch this, lash these together for a handle, put a point on the bottom of it and be able to have enough area to where we can pound down on this. I'm going to lash this around here so it didn't split out. And once we pound it in, we can twist it no. with the crossbar and then hopefully be able to pull it out without, you know, the suction of the clay holding it in place.
all I need. Unless I stumble yeah. upon a patch of shiitake mushrooms, I'm not interested. I got some morels and a steak. I prefer chanterelle. Yeah, it's a month too late for morel. I didn't come out looking. It was right during tennis season. And we were like every other day or another. Well, uh, the farmer's son said he's out here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's like, he's like, don't look. I didn't find. Like These are I actually have some stuff. Uh, the so the, the second the last one of these gets just sold. Today. Do we need to sharpen the tips of these or? No, no, we're gonna just shove them in. Oh, you these on your well, yeah, that yeah, driver yeah. is gonna have a sharpened tip. We're gonna here. Yeah. We got one hole in the ground already over here. So, Ooh, my wife's like, you should take those. So we're just gonna put the blunt end down in there as far as we can get it to go, and then arch it over. Slide down. What's that? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, right, what's next? Well, we gotta drive more holes. Oh, we're doing the holes. Can we put the first two in? Nine more times and then we're done. Get our art. Not even close, huh? Yeah, about like I don't know, a couple more. It's like you get in about enough four or more inches. It's my strong hand. Let me try it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't hit your kneecap ever in your week. I'm hit you in a minute. Yeah. Close enough. You think? Almost. Somebody forge us a cap to put on that? <laughs> Steel band? Yeah, that's good. It's never coming out. Oh! Oh! No. <laughs> <laughs> Worst nightmare came true. Is it just too, just wait. the lashing break? No. No. It's maybe just the bark. There you go. Just the bark. Just the bark twisted off? Yeah. Wow, weird. Yeah. So if we go up. Yeah, yeah. Twist, go, pull up at the same. Yeah, there you go. Come on, turn this. <laughs> the human <laughs> corkscrew. Let's, let's there turn we this go. Part. <laughs> Once the side by side that uh, Jamie, the property owner, owns, uh, he's using to shuttle folks back to the. Uh, campsite area that doesn't have four-wheel drive vehicles is uh is on the fritz so several of the 
gentlemen have uh, gone up there to take a look at it, see what they can do about it, uh, getting it started and uh, keeping it running throughout the weekend. While uh, they're taking care of that, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through and show you, show you some of the camps. And this is uh, Jamie's camp. Like I said, he's the property owner. And when you can bring a vehicle back into the forest, uh, you, you can live pretty cushy. Very nice. And back here is uh, Jamie's uh, longtime friend, Joe. Uh, this is his camp. Very minimalistic. And uh, the uh, very uh, lightly colored beige. Uh, shelter that belongs to Eli. He is our camp cook And he did a fantastic job with breakfast uh, this morning Mind if I film you Eli uh, no, not at all. Okay, this is Eli. He's our camp cook and this is his uh, set hammock set up and Everything he needs right there. It's yep. like set for a perfect night's sleep. This is Eli's camp kitchen. This is where he works his magic. And breakfast this morning was absolutely delicious. And I believe that this hammock set up, I may be mistaken, but this may be Jason's. Jason from Element Bushcraft. And I believe this uh, plow point over here belongs to Dave. Uh, most of these people I met for the first time last night. Another very minimalistic camp. Everything you need to keep you uh, sheltered in the forest. And as of right now, those are all the camps that are set up. A uh, new individual that I've not yet met yet. Uh, he's setting his camp up right now. He walked in. And we're expecting quite a few more folks throughout the day today. And well, even into tomorrow, depending on what their, their schedules are, what they, they can do as far as the weekend goes. So far, it's been uh, pretty laid back. Oh, last night. Like I said, I got in here late, and I think a couple of the other folks did too, and uh, we had a late supper. Jason pit-roasted a turkey, and it was absolutely <laughs> out of this world. And by the time the, all that happened, it was already very, very dark, and we were just eating around the campfire, and I don't have the greatest lighting for my, my cameras, as you know. So I did not uh, film any of that. So, so far, <laughs> I have eaten very, very well. Got my fill of uh, pit roasted turkey last night. Had uh, potatoes O'Brien, bacon, and scrambled eggs for breakfast. And very, very good coffee. So life is good in the woods. I think I'm gonna need to pull this down and we're gonna pop it out. Of well, we just pop it out of the ground. How about that? Yeah, that's what John was talking about. We're 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 gonna form it. We're gonna form it after we get our uh, council chambers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this one seems like it's the best. Actually, going back a little. I don't know. This is good. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, it looks like it. The paper's like a little. Yeah, Chris. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Well, we're all taking a lunch break, and uh, while I was getting everything together, I didn't show this to you on the last video, but I made my own ration packs, and uh, the whole purpose of this is to provide enough carbohydrates and protein and uh, calorie and nutrient-dense food as I possibly could, you know, in a small enough uh, container. I've got um, some sardines. Sardines is pretty much a superfood. These are um, 
uh, North Atlantic uh, caught sardines uh, packed in water and I, I have some that's packed in uh, sesame seed oil I've got some coffee in there I've got a couple um, you know power bars uh, nutrition bars uh, that are pretty high in protein and in the center this little thing right here is actually Fritos corn chips now you may be thinking why in the world are you consuming junk like that when you're out bushcrafting well ounce for ounce this has more fat more calories more carbohydrates than just about anything else you can eat and it tastes good now what I did because when you vacuum seal things it crushes um, the, the corn chips and it makes it really pointed and it would pierce the vacuum seal I put this in a, a Ziploc bag with a piece of paper folded inside of it so that way when it did crush and it definitely made a, a crunching sound like you wouldn't believe when it was compacting everything it prevented those jagged pieces of corn chips from piercing through and taking away the vacuum seal nice way to keep all your food uh, stuff compact when I cut this it's going to be a small opening so that way I can fit everything in it and roll it up and have a nice little self-contained trash container to put in my trash bag uh, to be able to pack out now before I eat I'm going to use my GoPro and take you a walk through real quick through the longhouse as we have it so far. Now, 20 plus years ago, when I was into reenacting, I actually put on an event on. It took a, a year. I was a one man show. I, I put it on all by myself at a Canter's Cave 4 H camp in uh, Jackson County, Ohio. And as part of the event, I wanted to have a large Native American contingent, so I built a native village. I constructed uh, five uh, wiki-ups, wigwams, whatever you want to call them, wiki-ups, and one longhouse. So a lot of the experience I had 20 plus years ago, I'm able to add to this uh, as my contribution uh, to the construction of this. Now this is the frame so far. This is very different uh, than the uh, longhouse that I made. Uh, the, the longhouse I made was U-shaped. Uh, and this is a, sort of, a, I don't know how it's spade-shaped, I guess. And, you know, we uh, uh, pre-bored uh, holes with the apparatus I showed earlier. And in order to fill up that space that's in there, we use, we use wedges to drive in there to create a much better fit. And we just started uh, driving the wedges. And, of course, some of the uh, saplings we're using are a little smaller than others, which means there's a lot uh, more space in the holes than some of the others. So that's the uh, long house so far, and uh, I'll be keeping you updated as the day progresses. All right, you wanna start down here? And... Yeah. We'll tie a hole and then we'll do sure. it. Sure. Enough down there. Is that enough overhang? Well, you have a... Yeah, man. I was trying to hold it. And just let's, yeah, just rest it on there. Right here. Yeah, we are good. Right Did there. Did we get some grass to see how long, how space those? You think, or is this what they said? This space. We who what? Who's we they? Winged it. That There's no they. <laughs> have a YouTube, this this YouTube is just winged. If it's not it's good, we'll just tie more in between. That's cool. Mm, yep, looks good. So I'm, I'm thinking uh, if we can make the. You gotta come back the other way. There you go. I'm thinking if. Maybe not. Oh jeez. Uh, All right, muscles. <laughs> to keep calm down. Don't have to hold that much weight. <laughs> you, you maybe wanted to find yeah, it. See how this one's got like some overlap. Need some cordage. Cordage is uh, it's in the bucket, I guess. Okay. We can cut the length. Yeah, let's do. 
What's that? Oh, that, that end's got to be chopped off, I think. That <laughs> weird. Do you want to finish tying this one up? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We actually oh. were just trying to see if this was good. You want to you wanna cut that crooked part off, Jamie? Thanks. Okay. I was thinking we need to, maybe we need to come in on the other end with a little one. Yeah, the whole route before with this we... one. All right, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna do the whole thing okay, with this one, but let's. Oh, yeah, this is finished. We can just set that up there. You nifty. Little pocket boy. Nathan, oh, let go. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Let's talk it out. Let's. Uh, we need. We need a. a, 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 a near okay. Yeah. This one. This one. Right here. Okay. Ah. Let's do that one right there. Yeah. Let's do that one right there. That one. Oh. Can we um, incorporate? We sure can. Oh, cool. That was done. Hold on. You need to do something. Uh, let me walk it down just a little bit. There you go. You guys are good. You can tie. So we're, are we, we don't think we're going to need the crossbar? I don't know. What about one on each end? At least one. Yeah, yeah. they should do one at on each end. At least. Yeah. Let's make a crossbar. Just want to hang a door. Yeah. Oh, we are going to need, well, yeah, we're probably yeah. going to need, yeah, we're going to hang something on the ends probably. All right, I don't know if that's right. Here. Are all these, this is, can be used? Or we need these? Yeah. All these can be used. Okay. You look choice. We're just fitting them in where we can fit them. All right. Yeah, that's probably the best one. This one yeah, is going to go the whole way. Measure. Right. We're due for a whole way, a whole way one on this side. Take it down there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I would uh, lash yeah, the good. skinny end on. Yep. Where are you guys going? I got it. We're going to measure it. With oh, the oh, 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 okay. Gotcha. And cut the match. Here, beat it down. Hey, you want to cut it off? Can you yeah. saw? Got it. Mark it. Yeah, just give it a couple strokes and then you can move it. But oh, that's really important. We gotta get one of these to do the ridge. Preferably the straightest one. The straight. You go on the inside or outside? Outside. So just set it in? We just cut the one that we needed. Yeah, take it. Yeah, did you pick the best one? Yeah, no, that's fine. One. Oh yeah, that one might work. We might do two. Maybe we'll do one from each end just to make it... That looks good. What about those... Alright, I'm just going to pick it up. And push it. I have a bigger one that's over it, there. That's it, that's it. A huge one. That that's good? Super yeah. straight. Yeah. We good? We good? We good? We good? Yeah, yeah we like, cut it all. Like right about there? You hold that? Yep. I got it. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on. We're good there? Okay. Well, I'm just holding it now. All right, I'll tie it. We're using it. No, both of them? No. No. Uh, uh, is that it behind you, Jason, on top of the side field, Bob? I think. Yeah. That's about right. Oh, thanks, man. You guys making it tall enough so tall people can walk under it without banging their head? Tall people can duck. I'm not gonna be happy about that if it's on the front door. I'm the, did you hang that sign by the fire for tall people too? <laughs> no. No, we wanted the short guys to be able to reach up and slap it. I felt tall and my head actually bumped into something when I was walking. Whoa, uh hold up, hold up, hold up. This well, we need more wedges, like don't this. we? Yeah. What leaning in? Yeah. So do we need to push it out a little further? Well, yeah. yeah. Pulled in. And just push it. Well, they aren't it. exactly straight either. Come out. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not even tied off yet. Here, you just here. Just go to the where you want it. To tie it off. There. It's not attached. I know. Oh, so what I was doing was making no didn't make a damn of difference. Pretty much. <laughs> Somebody had to say it. You holding that out? 
trying to anyway. Sure, yeah. Hoping we get a little bit of something. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a stick right there. Yeah. Something done. Right. If not, we'll chalk it up to rainwater runoff. Okay. There you go. It was engineered that way. That's right. You get this corner to sleep in. <laughs> the crickety crook corner. Well, I was thinking. Well, I was thinking. So, if we get this part done, I was thinking we could put four bunks in here. Two, 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 like head to toe to toe. Yep. With a walkway, with a walkway in between down the middle, yeah. And then I think Jamie wanted bunk beds up top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. That's Although it, awesome. heat rises, so it could be a little bit yeah, warmer right. up there. So I might not like it. So if you're a, if you're a hot box, you sleep on the bottom, <laughs> and then you get the hot. And if you're cold, you get the, all the condensation up top. You get the Dutch oven. Yeah. <laughs> Double Dutch oven. Uh oh! Did you rip it off? Probably. All right. Let's, let's see there. what happened. Did we push this one to last? Oh no! Good one. Well, this one, this one was. Yeah, that one needed to be last. Yeah. We did. We did. We did. Okay. There's one right. Well, it was right there. Yeah, right here. You wanna? Yo, you wanna hold that one here? I gotta get it. Here, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, you got one more over there, Nate? You got that one? Just this one. Yeah, I got that. This one should be another one. Or is this one right here going to be for something? Uh, it is now. Which one is that? It's right here, everything. Hey, what's this down here for, Jason? You know? Yeah. Like I said, nothing. Nothing right now is being nothing. Nothing's being nothing. Nothing's being nothing. Was that gonna be our new ridge pole? Uh, you don't want the, the end of this is all fucked up. Oh, uh, okay. What are we getting into there, Nate? We can go your way just a little bit. No, no, no. Uh, as far as uh, that, the bend in it. Let her rip. As you can see, the frame is really coming together. It's amazing how fast this thing came together once a few more people showed up. Many hands make light work. Right now, it's going to be a trick to get that ridge uh, pole last in. We're probably going to have to get the smallest, lightest guy uh, to climb up the framework in order to uh, lash that. It's really coming together. It's looking pretty good. Jason, just let yours down. Okay. Why is, why we're going to have to we're going to have to tie. That end, end and then tie we're going to have to start tying. Yeah, but can't we get this in the notch? You can, but it's just... some of these don't have wedges in them. Yeah, bang, bang this one. Oh, this one's, this one's got it. Which, which way does this? Then all we have to do is tie that one down. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll tie it. Yeah. Okay. No. Hey, let's tie it. All good. You know what I was just thinking? <laughs> Hold it down. <laughs> Keep it from blowing away. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going that way. Huh. Oh. And around. And around. And around. No, no, no. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> I sometimes, occasionally, will take a picture. Yeah. You should be taking a nap by now. <laughs> My seven year old is just asleep. We would have <laughs> cannibalized the neighbors. And 
Is this your pocket boy or whatever? Yeah. Well, folks, the frame construction for our longhouse is completely finished. Tomorrow, we've got a plan in mind to thatch or to put walls on our longhouse. And <laughs> this is going to be an interesting solution, to be sure. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.